The pardoner begins by addressing the company, explaining that when he preaches in churches, his voice booms impressively like a bell, and his theme is always that greed is the root of all evil. He shows his papal bulls, indulgences, and relics, claiming they have magical properties. He then invites those who have sinned to offer money to his relics for absolution. This trick has earned him a substantial amount, and he admits that his intention is to profit, not to correct sin. He doesn't care about the fate of his congregation's souls. He spits out his venom under the pretense of holiness, seeming holy, pious, and true. He preaches against greed, the very vice he is guilty of, but he can still make others turn away from it. Next, the pardoner tells the company how he entertains his congregation with old stories from long ago. A simple people love old tales. He will not work with his hands, but will get money, wool, cheese, and wheat for himself, even from the poorest page or widow in a village. He will drink wine and have a woman in every town. Now hold your peace, he shouts to the company and begins his tale. In Flanders, there once lived three rioters who engaged in irresponsible and sinful behavior. At this point, the narrator interrupts the tale with a lengthy diatribe against drunkenness, mentioning several famous figures as either sources or famed drunkards. This evolves into a critique of gluttony and then a condemnation of dice playing. One night, the three drunkards were in a tavern when they heard a bell and saw men carrying a corpse to its grave. They learned from a boy that the deceased was killed by a figure known as Death. They vowed to find and kill Death. On their quest, they met an old man who directed them to a spot under an oak tree where he said they would find Death. Instead of Death, they found eight bushels of gold coins. Realizing they could not carry the gold home without being seen and thought thieves, they drew lots to determine who would go to town to fetch bread and wine. The youngest was picked. While he was away, the other two plotted to kill him upon his return and split the gold between themselves. The youngest, thinking of the gold, decided to buy poison to kill the other two and keep the gold for himself. He bought poison, poured it into two of three wine bottles, and returned. The two men killed the youngest on his return, then drank the poisoned wine and died as well. The tale ends with a sermon against sin, asking God to forgive the trespass of good men, and warning against avarice. The pardoner then invites the congregation to offer their wool in return for pardons. The tale finished, the pardoner remembers he has relics and pardons in his bag and invites the pilgrims forward, urging the host to be the first. The host responds angrily, accusing the pardoner of deceit and threatening to mutilate him. The pardoner is speechless with rage. The knight intervenes, urging peace between the host and the pardoner, and they reconcile. With the conflict resolved, the company continues on its journey.